All right, next Christmas present. Got to install it. A ram mount for my motorcycle to hold my iPhone so I can get rid of my little uh, $35 digital player not bad not a bad little player I think I got that at, at, it's a sand disc got it at uh, Radio Shack 35 bucks you can store music on it has a radio but the antenna is kind of bad so I'm gonna take all that off it had a, um, a, a Bluetooth plug for power which I can unplug that so I can use my Apple plug when I get to it. So I'm going to have to disconnect this and then we'll see uh, how the new one's going to go on. I'll, I'll disassemble it and I'll, I'll be back with you. Okay, got the old one off. There are the pieces. I'm going to keep those stainless steel nuts and screws that I bought at Ace Hardware just in case I can use them or need them. Let's get this uh, ram mount I bought this uh, Santa brought this from me for me from uh, ordered it online at Bass Pro Shop Let me uh, the directions real quick. This is what it's supposed to do. It, it uh, you squeeze it and then set your iPhone in there and it grasps it. I got a friend who recommended this. That's why I bought it. Apparently, it looks like what I'm going to do is mount this to the bike with those straps. And then this little ball is somehow going to attach that to this so it can articulate on there. Let me uh, read the instructions and uh, come back. All right, so uh, I got uh, I, I did a couple things while I was out. Um, I was reading the instruction and they said cut this measuring tape off and wrap it around the handlebar to see how long you need to cut the strap itself and it said take um, a rubber uh, adhesive stick uh, strap and stick it to this which I already did there's the uh, 3m sticker and you got to make sure you get those loops in there and then cut it to the length that you wrapped around the handlebar and apparently it it, it didn't explain the handlebar part very easily so I made a cut, it, I, I cut mine short, and um, we'll see what happens. So I had to cut it and make sure, boy, I had a scare because there is a stainless steel pin that it didn't come out of the package at first and I thought I lost it, but it was in the box still. Um, and that's an important part because it's going to go in this hole right here. And that's going to create a hinge that will go in this little slot right here so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna attach this now that's what it says to do uh, slide this into the slot put the pin in the side and um, I get that done I'll be back all right so now what they're saying is take the uh, the pin put it in the 
strap and then slide it in that slot and the pin has to be sticking out it's hard doing this with one hand and then what we're going to do is slide the, the pin back in So it attaches to the uh, here I'm just gonna take it out I can't do it that way one-handed take it out put this on there slide the pin in hey Santa bring me a tripod next year this, put it like that, put the pin through. Make it flush. I guess it's got to be better than flush. That's a tight fit. And it says push it in until it snaps. it snap all right see it it uh, got locked up in there that's nice okay so I'm digging it and this is what's gonna go around the handlebars shove it through there this is a release for it it's gonna latch on all right that was a good got that done now it says We're pressing the strap hinge against the base players may be needed press the pin inside the hinge with a screwdriver until it snaps uh, adhere adhesive pad this little pad to the bottom of the easy strap base which is that's where it's going to attach to the uh, handlebars and these these are they're they're sticky on one side so it's not sticky it's not going to be sticky on the bike these are just so it doesn't spin there we go step seven All right and it shows here that you can buy different length balls ram ball long um, Different, different sizes, some, some of them look to be curved. And it says, attach the snap link portion of the mount to the easy strap base. Snap link portion of the mount, I guess that's this. to the easy strap base. No, that's this. Snap link. That must be this. Snap link components may vary based on product purchased. And the my problem is I'm I'm looking at this has two different size balls. And one would be difficult getting in that hole. The other one goes right in and it's sloppy. And this side is exactly the same. There's the sloppy one, there's the hard one. So I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to do this. Let's try squeezing the little one in there first. See what happens. Nothing happens. Try the large one. I can feel it. Okay, 
All right, well that's there. All right, let's see what happens now. That's that, verify that the ring was in there, and I did. There's a little O-ring inside there, so that this is not this is firm when it moves around, pivots. And then it says, place the easy strap on surface, which means the handlebars. Feed the strap through the base until the snap, the snap, the strap clicks in base while pressing the easy strap base against the surface. So now I have to go take it, put it on the handlebars, and shove this through there. That's what they're telling me to do. This I'm going to have away from me so it's out of sight. Let me go try it. This is a pretty good... Uh, Pretty good tripod. You're not going to see anything. Let's see if I can do this like this. Here's a clamp in here. I wanted to leave just in case I need it again. Get it out of the way. I, um, I have a dilemma. It, it's not. It's not attaching. I have a feeling that ball should have been the same size. I'm big on large on both sides. It's going to be nice when it's on there. I, I I'm going to have to call uh, tech support. All right, I'm gonna call tech support. I'll I'll, I'll get back. Here's uh, phone numbers and and their email. I'm gonna call them. Uh they're in Washington. Yeah, I'll call them. It's Washington. Ten nine eight. It's eight o'clock there. Might not be awake. I'll try them though. All right, just got off the phone with uh, the Ram people in Washington, and. See, I was talking to you about different length uh, ram balls, and what my, I should have received was this one, the ram ball, ram ball, ram ball. It's, it's describing what's on each end. I didn't understand that, and what I actually received was this thing, which is ram ball Garmin. If you have a Garmin uh, GPS, apparently it'll fit right on there. So the guy on the phone said, as soon as you started talking about it, I knew what you, what you wanted. And he said, just go on the website. There's a customer form. Tell them I need that, and they'll ship it to me. So slight delay. Uh, I'll let you know when I get it. Thanks. All right, so look, I got, uh, I got the new part. Here, this is the new part that I was missing. You can see that the top bubble is a little bit larger so it's gonna fit firmly in there Let's see if I can do it with one hand Ooh, can't do it with one hand uh, try to pop it on the bike in there. Let's try this one now, this piece. Right on top of it. Ooh. Wow. Well, I don't have to worry about my phone falling out of this because it's
I'm gonna have to do it. I gotta set the camera down. Okay, uh, that was kind of trying. That, that's really firm, really nice. So now all I need to do is adjust it. I ended up taking this off of the bike so I could uh, lay it on the table and really put some weight on it. But so then I'm sitting on the bike. <clears throat> I don't want to put my phone in there, but it, uh, okay, this is about the size of my phone. Hopefully my phone's not as wobbly right there, pointing right at me so I can see the screen. And what I did, uh, I took off the speaker and I put my uh, USB port down there, so it's out of the way. So I'm set. That's it. This is the RAM. Uh, iPhone holder. Cell phone holder. From RAM Systems. RamMount.com Not bad.